Everyone is talking about AI right now and you've probably got a few questions. Like, is it actually useful for AI artists and motion designers? Will it take my job? And should we trust it? Hmm, probably not. But today we're not here to give you some vague answers or to scare you about your job security. I'm gonna share with you great AI tools that you can start using right now to help you with your motion design career. So let's start with some of the more obvious ones that you might have heard of, but later on, I'm gonna share with you some of the AI tools that I think are gonna have a huge impact if you're an animator. So first off, I'm gonna start with the text to image generators. Now you've probably heard of a lot of these, but they're definitely worth mentioning and they're getting better every single day. So I've been messing around with Mid Journey for a little bit, but I'm definitely not a pro. If you wanna check out someone who's smashing it and making some fabulous images in Mid Journey, then I recommend you definitely go and check out Heather Crane She's posting stuff on LinkedIn almost daily with her morning mid journey meditations. So what you can do is you just go into mid journey and you type forward slash imagine. I'm just going to paste my prompt in here. You could put this AR 16 by nine if you want that aspect ratio to be 16 by nine, for example. So obviously I am putting a cat in here. It's inspired by my cat Elvis. So here are my images. So I'm going to say that I quite like version one. So if you click this and it will make different versions of version one for you. And with Mid Journey, it's actually public and you can see what other people are doing. So you can see that someone else has like been inspired by my image. So I think I like this one the best. If you've got any inspiration for prompts or anything that you like to do for Mid Journey prompts, please put them below in the comments because I'd love to hear how you're using Mid Journey in your workflow. So here we are in Dali. This is another text to image generator. Now I haven't actually used Dali before, so this should be pretty interesting. Again, we're gonna use Elvis, my cat, as the subject matter, and we'll try and put him in a different world this time. Okay, so this isn't really what I was expecting. So let's see what happens if we do variations. I think this one actually looks a little bit like Elvis. So it's really exciting and fun to do this, but how could you use it as an animator or designer? I think that you could take some ideas and some inspiration from this. And if you're maybe thinking about how something looks so that you can make an original design, you could use this as inspiration for your mood board, for example. So let's have a look at Adobe Firefly. Recently, we did a video about Adobe Firefly and this is Adobe's new AI tool. So we're gonna have a look at this one next. And this this also has a text to image generator. So as you can see here, we can click around with different art styles, which is really fun. We can play with the aspect ratio. We can also play with different styles here, different lighting colors and composition. Well, this has come up with a really scary one. I mean, what is this? <laughs> If you want to learn more about Adobe AI and its other features that are coming up, then you should watch my video that I recently released. I'll leave the link below this video in the description. I think with Adobe Firefly, if you're a beginner, it is easier to generate some better looking images. Whereas with Mid Journey and Dali, you have to learn a bit more about how they work to really control them and get what you want. There are so many video tools out there that are going to be really helpful to your workflow. But first, I want to talk about AI tools that can help you to write. As an animator or motion designer, you're probably more of a visual person. You probably struggle with writing sometimes. You don't want to know how long it takes me to write the scripts for these videos. It's an incredibly important skill to have. Most ideas start with written concepts and also it can help you with writing on social media and client emails. So let's start with ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is pretty good at helping you to write things like client emails. So let's ask it to help us to write an email about our availability coming up in June. So as we can see, ChatGPT can give you a really good base to start an email with. What I find with some of these AI writing tools is they come off quite professional and maybe a bit too much. I think that you want to add a bit more of your personality in there and add some comments about the studio and what the last project was that you worked with them on. So if you want to find out more about how to write a really good email to your client, you can download our free cold email template I'll leave the link below this video in the description. Next, I want to talk a little bit about Notion. So I love using Notion and their AI feature has just made it even better. So let's write a little email that we want to write to our clients about our June availability and see if Notion can help us rewrite it and make it better. 
So I purposely left out some grammar and made some spelling mistakes and errors in this email to see if Notion AI can help us to improve this message. So as you can see, we can continue writing, we can summarize from the page, we can translate things, we can explain things, we can improve writing, we can fix spelling and grammar, make things shorter, make things longer, change the tone, which I think is really good because I think with ChatGPT, you have to come up with a lot of these prompts yourself to change tone and stuff like that. So I like that notion gives you some help with that. So at first, let's just put improve writing and see what it comes up with. I like that it's improved my writing here, corrected all my spelling mistakes and all my grammar errors, which I think is really great. Um, so then you can just click replace selection if you want. What I really like as well is notion can actually find some action items with any block of text that you have. So as you can see here, it's offered up some suggestions about what actions we might want to take next with this piece of work. You can see here that Notion AI can also help you with all of these things like brainstorming ideas, doing a blog post, an outline, a social media post, a job description, a pros and cons list, a to-do list. So I think using Notion AI could be a really good asset to your motion design career, helping you with creative concepts and anything really where you want it to improve your writing for you. So there's a new tool called Adept AI and it looks really interesting. We don't know much about it right now because there's just a wait list, but it says that it will be able to take our goals in plain language and turn them into actions on our computer. So it seems like your own AI assistant on your computer. So I think that this could be a really exciting one to look out for. And um, I'm definitely on the wait list and I'm excited to see what we might be able to do with this. I want to tell you about the most amazing After Effects AI tool, but first let's talk about some video tools that might be useful for motion designers and animators. Meters. So first off, we have a set of tools from Runway. Now this is an editing software and they have some AI magic tools, which are really impressive. So you can scroll down here, you can see that they have lots of tools I think could be really useful, especially things like erase and replace, text to color grade might help you if you're an animator, turning videos into slow motion. I think blur faces might be useful because you might do this as a motion designer if you're working for a production company or something like that. And it's a really kind of boring job to do. So it's really exciting that now we can just do that with AI. Other things that look really interesting for animators is text to 3D texture. I think that could be really cool. And also re replacing backgrounds because obviously removing backgrounds and adding green screens and replacing backgrounds, this is stuff that used to take us a really long time and you'd have to rotoscope. But now it's really exciting that we have all of these AI tools at our disposal that can help us with some of these kind of basic tasks that we might have done in the past that had taken us a lot of time. Now we can do these tasks quickly and get to the really creative work. Next up, I want to talk about Adobe Podcasts because there's often been times when I've had to do a guide voiceover for an animation, but it sounded really bad. I think this will help us with times when we need a professional signing video, but maybe we haven't got to that stage in the project yet, or we just want to provide an example of the script to the client. So I'm just recording this next bit into my iPhone and then we're going to show you what it sounds like just straight into my iPhone mic and we're also going to enhance it in Adobe Podcast and you're going to see how well this really works. So I think this would be great, like I said, for doing guide videos and things like that. Another AI video tool that I found was AutoCut. So this takes out any spaces and gaps in your edit and also bunches it all up for you. So you don't have to spend a lot of time painstakingly editing out out all the spaces and all the pauses in your video, like I'm sure my editor is going to be doing with this video, I think that AutoCut can just save you a lot of time and you don't have to do that. So if you have to edit video as a motion designer or animator, I think that this could be a great tool for you as well. So the next video AI tool I want to show you is Topaz. And Topaz can actually help you to upscale your videos to 4K and it can also do things like slow motion as well. So I'm excited to give it a try. So I'm filming myself with my iPhone in HD and I'm going to throw it into Topaz and see what this looks like when we upscale it to 4K. I think this is really exciting because it finds more data in the image and I'm not really sure how it manages to do that, but I'm really excited to see the result. It seems like Topaz did a pretty great job, so I'm pretty excited about this tool. So the final AI tool I wanted to talk to you about today is Klutz GPT by Hyperbrew. Now this is an incredible tool that I'm really excited about. What this helps you to do is to create 
scripts and expressions directly into After Effects. What I like about it the most is you can actually tell it about the errors that you have in your scripts and your expressions, and it's going to help you to solve that problem. Jake Bartlett also did a great video about it, so I recommend going to check that out. So if you've used Clips GPT or you're going to try it out, let me know in the comments below this video. I'd love to know what you think of it. If you're interested in learning about more AI tools that might help you with your work, then you should watch these videos next.